Hi everyone, Ashley here, Mountain Adventure Reviews. Welcome to another video. This week I sent off an email to uh, a company called Pilgrim and they responded pretty much straight away, which is brilliant for uh, a brand to uh, respond to questions and things like that um, pretty much next day. Um, I explained what I did, who I was, and um, they've sent out two of their signature bags for me to review, which is fantastic, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm absolutely made up because I must have sent over the over the last year or so, I've sent probably about 25, 30 plus emails to different brands trying to get people on board to let me review their products. Pilgrim are the first ones to let me do that. So thank you very much, Pilgrim. They arrived today, so let's get them Unbagged. Now this isn't actually going to be a full review. This is literally just me first reactions of these bags. So I'm super excited for this. I've been, I've been. At, they arrived here today. I've been at work all day, and I've literally just been, I've been itching, been chomping at the bit to get home so I can get them out. So should we make a start? Let's do it. Right. So which one is first out of the bag? Let's just get let's just get them out. So this one is so this one is the Mayflower. Let's put that on there for a sec. And this one is the Speedwell. Let's do the Speedwell first because I like small bags. It's day hiking, isn't it? So. Let's take it out, let's get rid of that. Goodbye there. Let's have a look at these. Right, wow. So they are quite uh, military-esque bags. Um, lots of webbing on them. I have done a little bit of research on these on these bags, so I kind of I do know a little bit about them. Um, but this is my first time getting them out of, of the actual packaging. All these pockets here all undo. They all come off. They've all got buttons on here that you can remove and put them in different places. Made out of Cordura, which is extremely durable stuff. Um, to give you an example, I've got Cordura uh, knee pads in my work trousers because I'm on my knees a lot. Um, it's really, 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 really durable stuff. So trust me on that. Let's have a look at the straps in the back. Well, they feel nice and padded. Signature whistle. Works. Well, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. So it's a zip top, so it's a zip opening. Oh, we'll go into that in a minute. But you've also got, oh, and they attach to the straps, got you. You've also got clips to lock it down. That is a fantastic idea, and obviously them, they then go over the top there to, strength, to strengthen the top up here so you can adjust it. Nice thick straps, plenty of webbing on the front here, loops. That's mega. All right, let's have a look at these pockets then. That's nice and big in there. Plenty of stuff to, plenty of pockets in here to put stuff in and that's a perfect little drone case, that. Pockets in the side for bottles, water bottles or snacks. All adjustable. They feel nice. That back there looks like it's got lots of, uh, lots of holes in it for breathability. No waist strap, okay. That's dealable, we can deal with that on a day hike. Vents at the bottom there, weak vents, in case anything goes in damp. Right, let's check out inside. So this is bladder compatible, excellent. Pockets in there as well, little pockets in there. Oh, there's a little stash pocket in there, has that got a... Little stash pocket in there, mesh stash, stash pocket. That's good. I like that. I, well, I like the look of it. I think that's a fantastic looking bag. 
put it on. Let's try it. Let's see what it feels like. And it's actually on my back. Ooh. Feels comfy. That feels comfy, definitely. Yeah, that feels that feels actually quite nice. Yeah, how does that look? That looks pretty good, I think. It feels really, really comfy that. Really comfy. Right. Just to let you guys know as well, we're simultane simultaneously filming on two different cameras, one for TikTok, one for YouTube. So these will both be live later on, hopefully. Um, yeah, bladder compatible. Oh, it's got a little strap in there so you can be a great day pack this for a city go if you took all the pockets off and stuff. Be a great little pack. Like it's like a little, uh, little folder down there. You can perhaps put a, like a, a tablet or a laptop or something. Plenty of pockets inside here to uh, put stash stuff in. Little mesh pocket. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Loads of pockets on there. So this is a 20 litre on its own, but I'm pretty sure if you put all this on here and this and this and this and this and this, you could probably bang that up to about. I would have thought 60 liters, no problem with the uh, with the accessories. Absolutely fantastic that. So that bag itself on its own, I think is 80 pounds, 79.99, which is reasonable for a bag considering I paid 90 for my Osprey. And then you've got all these pockets here, all these attach on. Oh, there's webbing all down the side as well there. Excellent. Um, these are about 15 pound, 20 pound, 25 pound. I think they're 15 pound, something like that. So you can build it up to your own specification. Pilgrim, brilliant. Love the brand, love the branding as well. That's brilliant. Right, so that was the Speedwell. Now, next up is the Mayflower. Right, so let's start with the Mayflower now. Big, it's a big bag. Um, let's get it open, let's get it out of this. Do away with that. Bye bye, you. Wowzers, that's a. That is an absolute beast. That is looking cool. Something falling over there. Wowzers. Oh, it's got a belt in there. Belt pockets. Loads of pockets on here. These straps feel. Wow. Look at the thickness of those straps on there. The thickness, that's like, I'm just looking over at my Osprey bag, my Osprey Rook 65. That is probably twice as thick as the Osprey shoulder straps. Plenty of padding on the back here. I'm not a massive fan of padding, but, and it's, it, I'm, gonna I'm gonna test this out. That lumbar support there feels really good. And it's got the lumbar supports at the top here as well. And it's got this, that will have this open open back here. So that'll be my sweat point there. And hopefully that will stop me from uh, a bit of air in it and help help with the sweat. So, oh, there's plenty of, plenty of webbing on here. Right, let's spin it around so you can see. So it's got the top pack peak here, the top bag. Let's just undo that, let's get that open. Let's get a bit of, uh, let's get a bit of air in here so we can get it opened up fully. Nice drawstring on there, yeah, nice and thick. Yeah, right, okay, let's get it opened up. Come on. Wow, lots of webbing. Again, pockets. It looks like that pocket and that pocket are the same that's on the Speedwell. So that'll be a perfect drone pocket there, quick release on there, quick access. Big pockets on here. These are all, these are all zipped on. That's brilliant. Inside, are we? Inside, yep. Yeah. Inside, we are bladder compatible. That's cool. Plenty of space in there. Wowzers. That's huge. Oh, there's pockets down the sides as well. Like in the Speedwell there, there's little um, like water, water container bottle pockets down at the bottom there. That's good. I, I'm loving, I'm just loving all of the, the, the pockets on them because those pockets are huge. So this starts out at. Um, at 40 litres. 
But with all the add-ons, this, 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 and this, takes it up to 120 or thereabouts, which is fantastic. Oh, that's in there for your, for your bladder hose. Top pocket as well. How big's that? That's probably about the same sort of size as. Oh, it's got a map. It's. I'll tell you something, these guys have, have done some thinking about this. Inside the top peak here is a, is a, a, a separator. And you can quite easily put your map in that. What a cracking idea. Keep it dry. Quick access. Unzip. Take it straight out, how good is that? Right, all vel Velcro on the top here, so you can actually add your own, own patches if you wanted to. And like I say, all these, let's just have a go at that. All these are unzip. That's good. Plenty of webbing on here, like I say. Insignia on there, pockets on oh, Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's see what it's like. I know it's obviously empty, there's no weight in it. Sort the hood out. Find the microphone. What's that one? That's that one. Okay. Let's get those straps up. Let's get the belt on. Oh, fix me straight away, that. Testing. Oh, I love a new bag. I love the roughness of the webbing. I love it. Wait until it loosens up a bit. Oh yeah, handles on there. Get your poles in them, keep hold. Never gonna lose that. How does that look? That actually feels really comfortable. The belt sits nicely on the hips there. Oh, it feels it feels like a tailored bag. Yeah. That feels really nice. Feels really, really good, that. Really comfy. These straps, man, wow. They're padded. Padded to death, them. That's gonna be really, really comfy. I can already feel across my lap, top of my lats on my back, I can feel them pads pushing against it. So that's, that's gonna be a good thing. And I can feel that lumbar, I have problems with my lower back, so I can feel that lumbar is sitting. Once I get a bit of weight in this bag, I can actually feel that sitting right on my troublesome spots. So that will give me a little bit more support around the bottom of my, my, my back. Right, okay. I am really, really impressed with this. I, I'm, I'm, and I'm not just saying that. It feels like a comfy bag. I'd like to get a bit of weight in it, and then we can see. But yeah feels like a comfy bag it's not it's not the lightest but with all the accessories that are on it it's a 120 litre bag or thereabouts the Osprey over there is a 65 litre and I'd probably say that is probably only maybe 150, 200 grams heavier than, than the Osprey, and that's at 1.4, 1.6 kilos to start off with. So that, that feels pretty good. Does it stand alone? Yes, it does. Right, I'm really impressed with that. I think that's a, that's a, that's a pretty mega, mega looking bag. And I've got a funny feeling as well, that Cordura, with the lining that's inside it and stuff is waterproof. Loads of webbing on the top here and put torches on and all sorts on that. Nice big robust, robust clips on them as well. They feel, they feel really, really solid. Wow, right, okay. So that's the Mayflower. That one's the Speedwell. Pilgrim also do a range of clothing. Um, they do sportswear and active wear for men and women. Um, I'd definitely go and check them out. Pilgrim Journey. Uh, just Google it. It'll come first up on the uh, on, on the Google reviews. Um, 
Yeah, I, I'm. I'm really, really impressed with them. I think they're an absolutely fantastic looking bag. This one. That is that is sub one kilo, I would say. Definitely sub one kilo. Possibly even, yeah, it's definitely sub one kilo that. But that one, I'd say is about 1.6 kilos, maybe 1 point, I'll have, to, I'll have to weigh them. I'll have to weigh them. That's the only thing. So, right. So that's the unboxing. I need to get them out in the field now. I need to get them out into the mountains, into the fells to give them a proper test. But my initial thoughts on them are they are a cracking looking bag. They feel comfortable on my back and I'm gonna get these out real soon. So, great, right? Thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, for those on TikTok, this will be in two parts. For those on YouTube, this will be live. Well, you'll be seeing it now. <laughs> for those on TikTok, head over to the YouTube channel for the full, full version if you don't want to wait for part two. So, right, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Take care, happy trails.